All right, everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Dragoon. We're going to finish up Chapter 2 in this here video, I tell you what. Either that or, uh, next two videos. I'm finishing it tonight. That's what matters for me. So, look at these hopeless people. Anyway, when last we left off, we were s sort of stranded on this little podunk island town. Dart! <clears throat> needing to uh, get to reunited with our party. And we've heard rumors about a uh, city through the, through the caves. Well, through the mountains that you have to get to through the caves. Anyways, point is, bad stuff's there. What's wrong? Would you please take us to Fueno? I'm afraid of the monster, but... We gotta go before it's too late. It's about your mother, isn't it? I want her to be in the hospital. You got it. We'll take you there. I can annihilate the monster for you. Did I say something wrong? Thank you. I bring my ma. We're good people doing good things again. What are you looking at? Titties? I mean, no, nothing. So, we're now on our way to Fueno! How do we get to that chest? This is important, I can't take your mother to the hospital until we, you know, loot everything in your village. Let's go! As you can see, we're now in a completely separate, isolated section of the map. Entering into another cave. Not a very large dungeon, though. Since the monster appeared, the water has never ebbed. But that's okay, because Fueno is not this way. Cool story, kid. Let's get going. Damn it! What are the odds of that? Oh well, we get to enjoy the new scene with just Dart and Rose, and we need to build up their SP anyway. So, I, yep, we do, we do. A screw shell. Make your own joke. And a mermaid. I need to change his addition. Fuck me. A lot of guards. A lot of guarding in this uh, encounter, apparently. Well, I suck at life. Dart just got screwed! Wow, 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 wow. And Dart leveled up from a mermaid and some screw shells. Let's go ahead and look at his new addition, Madness Hero, which sucks compared to everything else we have, but we're gonna use it anyway because we have to. No! Right outside of Fueno's walls! What are the odds? Won't the gods come and help me? Look, it's the same, uh... bit of wilderness we've seen since the first disc. Yes! Go! 
All right, I think I know how this one goes. Oh, it's going to be a long day if I can't get these right before the video is over. It's going to be a long day, kids. Damn it. Time was a little bit off, but I got most of it, I think. Oh yeah, hard blade. Oh come on, my guy. Yes. Go. <laughs> Fuck me running. Wow, I haven't successfully done Madness Hero yet. It's basically where Dart attacks in rapid succession. And at the end he's like, Madness Hero! And we're into one of my favorite tracks in the game. I love Fueno's music. I might even like this more than the theme of Bale in Flex. Here we are at Fueno! Thank you, Dart and Rose. You have to get better soon to make Pete happy. I mean, if Pete wasn't there, no one would fucking care if you got better. So, yeah, make him happy. I hope you can find your friends soon. But, uh, are you actually in love with each other? Because in that cave, you... You're a good boy. I didn't see anything, okay? Oh, okay. I didn't see it. Maybe. Dart's not the least bit suspicious. It's nothing. We're going. Rose! You gotta confess to him! Kids. What are you looking at? Boobies? Alright, let's get to explore on this place. Let's look at his item shop. We found out we can sell that, we can sell the discipline vest, we can sell the leather vest. We can sell the lance. I never looked at the dancing dagger. Should probably do that. What else you got for me? Nothing we really, really need. So let's look at this dancing dagger right quick. And it's a rose weapon, so yeah, we definitely want to keep that. Nothing up here? Oh, apparently there is something up here. Now he's the weapon shop guy. Cute. A falchion! The musing arrow, which I'm going to guess is better than what she has now. I don't know who would use a morning star. Plate mail. A sparkle dress. Alright, that's enough money squandered for now. Let's get the hell out of here. We gotta find our friends before they get bored and leave us. That's what friends do. Anywho. That stone in the back is... Stardust! I'm right away, woman. Ah, 
in the clinic. I wish I remember words. I have never heard of the painter of this painting, but I have seen this somewhere. Stardust. All right, we now have all the stardust in chapter two, so that's how you guys know we're almost done with this uh, little chapter of our adventure here. Let's go down to the docks, because why not? Look, our boat's here. I didn't want to go in there because I didn't think that was a building. Actually, I did want to go in here, apparently. Well, in that storm, even for the powerful Darton Rose. You! You are! Mr. Dart! Miss Rose! Kayla! I had you worried! Thank God! Both of you are safe! That was nothing. Oh! Did you see Miss Shayna? Please go to her. Hurry! She hasn't spoken even a word since she disappeared. She on the boat? Everybody's in the city now. Whee! We have to go stop another Shayna crisis. Ow! Do you have eyes? Maru! Oh! Dart! Rose! I knew it! You guys are alive! Did you see Shayna? Bad boy, come with me quickly. We're in the hotel! Come quick! Okay, can I have some of those bananas? The boat hasn't come, and I cannot get any stock. The boat hasn't come, and I have nobody to sell to. I can't do any business. All right, I guess this was the hotel right here. Hmm? She said the hotel. Maru, where is she? Well, who am I? Hmm? You guys are slow pokes. Welcome back. We were tired of waiting for you. You'll die. Impossible. Everybody! Oh, except Shayna. Hurry, go see Shayna. She's in the back room upstairs. Let's leave them alone. Rose, she changed somehow. I agree. Indeed, I got the impression that she's calmed down. In any event, it's a good thing. Maybe I don't want to see Shayna. No one in here. Oh, poor Shayna. Shayna! Dart? Oh, Dart. I made you worried. Are you crying? There's nothing. I'm so happy that I'm crying. So... Please don't say anything. I'm happy just like this. Peeking is not a ladylike thing to do. 
I thought you wanted to leave them alone, didn't you? Hmm? It's okay for me. I gotta learn about love and romance. I'm oh, sorry. It's okay for me. I gotta learn about love and romance. You guys go back. Or we're gonna be caught. Kids. Wow! Please excuse us. <laughs> it's typical of Maru. Finally, he smiled. True. It's been a while. And this and that, and we finally made it to Fueno. Not only that, you two are safe and sound. It's just a miracle that the seven of us can meet again. We have to offer our thanks to the Tebroan God. We have to return the favor to the God by taking the Moon Dagger back. We have to catch Linus then. May I ask you a question, please? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal like that? You guys were alone in that cave, weren't you? Did you guys, uh, nyeh him nyeh him nyeh nyeh huh? Maru, don't be silly. Even though you're trying to learn about love, it's too rude. Okay. So, uh, Dard, did you put your dick in the mirror? I shall. Sorry, sorry, slipped out. What do you mean, slipped? Don't worry, Shayna. Dard was concerned about you the whole time. Anyway, about Linus. We should go out and ask about her in the city. We may find out something. I... I agree. We're gonna go take a nap first. Are you the same lady from, uh... We don't need any tourist attractions, but that old lady insisted, so he said okay. I was just wondering if it was the same person from, uh... What? 50 gold for a bath and dinner? Can we just get the room to sleep in? And fuck the bath and dinner? Alright. I uh, probably should have done this the other way around, but I'm gonna... Huh? He's got 80 SP now. Yeah, never mind, we're good. Maybe. What's, what's what we have here? What's he even armed with right now? Power wrist. Doubles maximum mana points. That's what I want right now. And I should have used that before uh, I rested. So now we're going to have to rest again. Yeah, I know. I want to walk away as well. Why that much mana points? Or, yeah, why that many mana points? Because, well, I have some things I want to do later on. You'll see. You're going to see the same animation over and over and over again very soon, I'm sure. Hey, you don't believe me either. I really saw it. I saw a dragon on Prison Island. A dragon? On the Prison Island? You don't know that. My ship was smashed by the sea dragon rumored to live over the undersea cavern. Gotta have a drink or something, but you can't go there anymore. There's lots of monsters there. My house was taken by the monsters. I need some whiskey. It was, it was a half year ago that the, mon the monster showed up, and it, it's all the monster's fault. That's that I'm like this now. Give me my ship and my houses back. Uh, 
a half year ago. It is the same time that Linus joined the gang. Okay, let's get to the prison island. And in the prison island... Let's get going. We have our destination. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this, uh... God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen, but god damn it anyway. Let's go ahead and get this finished. This won't take very long. It's not a very long dungeon to go through, as I mentioned. And what the fuck is that? Treasure jar. It's one of the special mobs. I'm actually gonna let Shayna shoot it to build up her SP. She didn't get any SP for that, I guess, because she did no damage. Oh well. And fuck it. I got all day for that. And actually, before we go any further, I'm going to run back to Fueno and buy something. Because I didn't. See you in a little bit. So, I came back here to Fueno to purchase some weapons that I uh, forgot to get on my way out. Alright. Maru uses the Morning Star, which I guess makes some degree of sense. Let's get that for her. Some better armor for uh, Shayna there. And also I wanted to get the Bursting Arrow. Or Bemusing Arrow, not Bursting. I can read, I promise. So now she has a better weapon that can confuse people. That's nice. Sort of, not really. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, and here we are inside of the Undersea Cavern. Or we will be, as soon as it loads. Here we are, ready to go. What is that noise? It's from over there. There must be something over there. It's not just something. It seems that rumor about the sea dragon is true. That is the dragon's cry. I can't blame you for feeling scared. I'm, I'm not scared. A dragon or two is nothing. We have to look for a way to go to the prison island. And that way is in our little fishing, fishing village somewhere. Though I don't remember exactly where it is. So you're going to watch me wander around for a couple minutes. But nothing too long, I wouldn't suspect. I believe it's a floodgate of some kind that has to be opened. After all, why would this other stuff be here? The game the mayor is playing and the others are playing is for three guys. I got left out, so I'm sunbathing here. Okay. I need to move. I don't know how to make them move. Let's see. Go to the ocean terrace over here. This must be where the mayor and his jack elves are. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Here we go, how's this? Darn, not again. Well, I got a good win. Let's take a break. What do you want? You want to go to the prison island. We can't go because of the flood tide. We're wondering if there's any other way to go. You said the prison island? Are you serious? You want to commit suicide or something? We're serious. But we don't have a way to. But we don't want to commit suicide. 
You know it's dangerous to go there, young man. But why? Why would you want to throw yourself into danger? Danger is my middle name. What? I cannot let crazy people like you go there. I didn't even close the way because it was fun. I didn't close the way because it was fun. Get out of my sight. Ugh. I need to see the monster. You need to see the monster? You look serious. The appearance. The warriors, aren't you? I got it. I'll tell you. But it's up to you whether you can survive there or not. I closed the route to the prison island after the monster problem arose. Why didn't you close the whole cave? It's really dangerous. Then we wouldn't be able to go to Fereno. That's why I closed only the path to the prison island. I have a question. How do you control the tide? It's puzzling me. The giant floodgate on the side of the mountain. Oh, don't be so puzzled. I just closed the gate to the sea when I, the tide was full. Then, after the tide had, had ebbed, the water level won't go down inside. Oh, my, what a simple trick. You imagined I could think of something complicated? Ha ha ha! Hey, open the gimmick gate for him. I got it! Whee! Go to the cave from the right side of Pete's house. Turn the valve, and you can open the gate. And you can go to the prison island. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. To Pete's house! Treasure. No, oh, I can't carry no more items. Turning this valve should open the gate. Now, we can go to Prison Island. This is like Treasure Island, but not as fun. All right, let's get out of here. Finally off to the uh, final dungeon of this map, or this chapter, or this thing. The pier! And away we go. So, so far I haven't encountered the load, screen, the load screen glitch at all in this game. Which is funny, I would imagine the emulator would have a harder time with it than, uh, can't carry any more items, than the actual PS2, or, or yeah, an actual PS2 would, but apparently not. A jeweled crown. That could be useful for somebody, I'm sure. For who, I don't know. When attacked magically, SP is accumulated. I can dig it. Shane has got a jewelry. Alright. I don't know which way we need to go. This reminds me a little bit of um, the Great Hollow in Dark Souls. Which is a completely unnecessary place to go pretty much any time ever. But it's cool looking. Die. Hard blade. This is a glare, which is different than a screw, st a screw shell. Ah, the confusion actually worked. Nice. 
First shot, too. That's a good sign. Damn it, that third one keeps fucking me up. You missed. Shane has become quite the killer today. So this guy already has really high defense, and now he has a physical attack barrier up. Fuck me. Is he's gonna continue defending. Don't screw Shayna. That's Dart's job. I'll get it eventually. Someday. I'm just all kinds of fail positions today, apparently, though. Come on, man. Yes. Go. <laughs> die. Hard blade. Damn it, son, just die. Oh my god. Quit turtling so much, it's pathetic. Yes. Go. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, this battle's annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna slip my wrists. Mind purifier that I have no room for. It's gonna go on the ground in the trash. We can carry around 27 sets of plate mail, but not more potions than three. I know, this all led to an item that I can't pick up. Which means this entire area might be a waste of time. And we're going to have to fight more screw snails here in a minute, which makes me unhappy. No, nope, I need to go down that path and then around. I'm just going to skip this fight because you guys don't want to see it. I don't really want to do Oh my god, what the fuck. Never mind, we got to do this. This won't be a long one. A flabby troll. Okay then. Hard blade. Let's do it. Yes. Go. Fuck.
I wish there was like a mode I could just practice the addition over and over again. I'm scared of the flabby troll. Die. Hard blade. Yes. Go. <laughs> I even get the rhythm to it, but I just can't. I'm not hitting it right, I don't guess. I don't know. He dart a healing potion. Doink. There we go. And for such crappy damage. <laughs> God damn. Thanks for making me waste the healing potion, bitch. Come on. Ugh, okay, maybe I can do... Uh, never mind, it's not Dart's turn. And in the end, it's like, fuck you. I get the last laugh. Can that technically count as Shayna's victory? Because it was Shayna's effect. Give it a little bit more credit, you know. And Shayna has caught up with the rest of the party. So, yay. I mean, she's still Shayna, but, I mean, you know, she's better Shayna. Let's just go this way. Because I don't care about treasure. pathways. We gotta go this way. That's gonna lead us up this way. And we're gonna do this combat in this place. Flying fish! A sea piranha. Apparently that fear is permanent, so they're going to be afraid until someone makes them not afraid. That confusion effect is pretty consistent. Yes. I gotta say. You guys are hitting for quite a bit of damage, too. Bastards. Confuse the other piranha. It worked, too. Not quite what I wanted, but sure, it works. Fuck. Shane gets another turn. Yes. Go. Ugh. This addition's hurting my spirit. We literally only have one out of 99 for this thing down so far. And Rose leveled up. That's cool. They're feared. So we need to use a few items here. Let's make everyone choke down some healing potions and I guess a mind purifier that we don't have. Well, that's unfortunate. 
So do I wander around and hope there's one in these chests somewhere? No. No, I don't. Attack bull. There's a save point right here, in case worse comes to worse. Worst thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna do some stupid stuff in combat, but this isn't too hard of a boss fight, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, overwrite the Giganto home. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Why is this place called Prison Island? Here's the moon dagger that you wanted. I didn't kill those humans as you said. But why do you did you suddenly start to say such a thing? The blood-smeared road might be the only way to lead us to the world we desire. Death gives birth to tears, and tears give birth to anger. And anger turns itself into rancor, it opens to war. It's silly that I have to repeat it, but since once is enough... Well, I won't stop you if you want to do so, Lloyd. Anyway, he's called something like Dart. Aren't they the ones coming after you, Lloyd? It's all in my plan. Hmm, plan, huh? Let me tell you my plan. My plan is to get you a to get a hot prize from you. <sighs> hey, you're disturbing my moment here. You're gonna pay for this. Why? Why is Lloyd here? Is this all part of your plot? Damn right. My will is with Emperor Diaz. Namely, everything was planned by the god. You're still talking about that crap. You killed Lavitz. Let us settle the score now. I have the calling to reform the world. I have no time to pay attention to little things like Lavitz. Lloyd! I can't stand it anymore. I am the one who torched your home to the ground. I'm the one who deprived you of and your friend of his life. And I hold the moon gem and the moon dagger in my hands. You abhor me, don't you? I'm heading to Melissasau. Pursue me if you can survive. Easy, easy. Wait a minute, don't be so hasty. It was nice of him to give you an invitation, but you gotta decline it. Because you will die now, in here. Alright, final boss of disc 2. Water Dragoon, Linus, and that thing. This guy does have some pretty uh, impressive effects, though. I love this attack can miss. I love when big, super, touch the whole board kind of attacks miss somebody. That damage on Dart. Hmm. Alright, no, 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 no. 
I'm doing healing breeze on everybody. And whoever gets uh, turned next is probably going to turn everyone into dragoons. It's my plan anyway. Works for me. The good thing about Dragoon is I don't have to do a uh, Madness Hero. And I'll do more than two damage. Which I consider to be excellent. Hmm, flame shot or hmm. Where will be faster? Truth be told, I could do more than I could do more than one round of it. So I can do this, and depending on who dies, I can have some final bursts left, so he's got a lot of mana. See how much damage this does and if it's worth it to keep pumping it out. Yeah, could be better. Focus on getting rid of Joel first. Doink. We haven't seen Astral Drain in quite a while, have we? Okay, amount of health, I guess. Hmm. Both lacking about the same, and neither one of them really, really need healing. Yoing! So yeah, basically my plan for this character is just to continuously spam her with fire attacks as much as possible. Pathetic. Okay, let's burst on him. Nice. Yeah, definitely sticking with the burst. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, punch him with a uh, physical attack here. Yeah, damn it. No one really needs health. Well, Shane and I rose a little bit. Now watching more spell animations, kids. And Shane is back to being your good old crappy self. Ow. 
That didn't even really hurt. Hmm. Well, another final burst should definitely do it. He's probably overkill at this point, but we're gonna go ahead and throw it on him. Hopefully someone will be able to force feed Dart a Sunwrap so that he'll just be able to keep throwing out fireballs. Dragon. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw out one more Astral Drain from her. Astral Drain. The sword syringe is prepared. No, 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 no. That's mana points for everybody. 100 SP in combat. It'll buy him another turn. Pathetic. Do you have any fire magic you can throw on her? Dancing Ray, Night Raid, Speed Up, that's nice. Sashay, nothing great. Just shoot her. Maybe she'll get confused. I don't even think you can confuse boss characters. You only thought the last one was the final burst. Damage is just kind of fun. She's still in the blue as far as health goes. Die. Hard blade. Yep, we're doing final burst one more time. I've already forgotten what the stage looked like by now. Poor Shane, I got hit in the face. Alright, now I get to fail in my addition. Yes. Go. <laughs> well. 
Modern attack item. Hmm. I don't think I have anything that only attacks one person. I didn't really think that through, down did I? Suck at your job, Linus. Die. Hard blade. Yes. Go. <laughs> you ain't. Doing the pillars attack again. Puts everyone in a little fish tank. Or a big fish tank, I guess. Boink. Even Shayna thinks your damage is kind of pathetic most of the time. Come on! Yes! Go! Ha, 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 ha. Hero! Yay! Second time I actually got it, and it's what finished her off, which is somewhat satisfying, I gotta say. <laughs> Lloyd. My life is for you. Dart! Lloyd. We have a new Dragoon! Maybe I'll actually use her character now. I'm not hearing the little sound as it tallies up my experience. It feels so hollow. This it's Maru's Dragoon Spirit. Oh, I'm surprised that Maru was recognized. Does that mean this Dragoon Spirit chose me? It means I'm one of the Dragoons. 
I'll try to acquire the blue sea dragoon spirit. I'm a dragoon too. Dragoon spirits attract each other, and dragoons gather, as the dragon spirit desires, as so as fate leads. They're drawn to each other like that. Is that what you were saying? It's just folklore. Are you going to pursue Lloyd? You're going to pursue Lloyd, aren't you? Unfortunately, we have to go meet King Zior to tell him we couldn't bring the Moon Dagger back. Aren't you hurt? No thanks to you, Dart. Hey guys! Don't you ignore me like that! Hey! Wait for me! You know, I actually don't remember having to go back to King Zior. But apparently we do. So I got a bit more recording time than I thought. Alright, let's head back to the old bastard. No more encounters. None. No! Skipping. In fact, unless something happens, I think I'm just going to skip back to uh, Flets. Because you guys don't want to watch all this crap. Dart, I've heard about you. You successfully defeated the monster on Prison Island. And the female bandit. Oh, I've heard about her too. What's wrong? You have a long face. I'm ready to go back to Flets and triumph. We couldn't get the moon dagger back. Well, shit, you're fucked, lad. Here's some rum. I like the ocean. Let yourself flow in the waves and the winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here's an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you'd make a good sailor. Or even a great man of the sea. Or a sailor. A man of the sea? <laughs> Not bad. What are you talking about? We have to pursue Lloyd now. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have something to take care of. I understand. It is a shame. However, I move that you consider being a man of the sea. It's small. But it's my farewell gift to you. Take this. Acquired 100 G. Dart, as soon as you're ready, just come aboard. Meet you on the boat. Be ready for departure. Are you ready? Damn right. Casting off. You're ready to cast off. All right, we're now traveling via boat. And yes, you can have encounters on the sea. Where fucking monsters jump up out of the water just to piss me off. Anyway, I'm skipping back to uh, the next little cutscene. All right, welcome back to Flets. The audio is a little bit weird right now, and I'm not sure why. It's still quiet like it's in the uh, after, combi after combat cinematic. Princess Emily is here! Let's go! A graceful steps. A dainty movement. The dainty movement of her hand. Her, no, that's what it said. Her gracious eyes. She must be a Princess Emily. I know those breasts anywhere. I have returned after a half year of sleep. My father, King Zior, wouldn't say it, but I heard the evil doings of the sinner who feigned as me has harmed our people of Tintabroa. 
I can say it is my fault, because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I'm determined to make atonements for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty. Please don't blame yourself, your highness. Your return only makes us happy. <coughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let us make this country continue to be a wonderful country. I have a favor to ask you, Princess Emily. May I ask you to name my baby, my soon-to-be-born baby, your highness? It would be my pleasure. <coughs> How about Airy for a girl and Al for a boy? They have the sound of great energy and strength. They are beautiful names. I thank you very much, your highness. God bless Princess Emily. God bless the Tibroan Kingdom. All the best for the Kingdom and for us. Oh, Princess Emily. How beautiful she is. Albert? It's like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to a country of Princess Emily. Something wrong? No, uh, sorry, I was just having a wet dream during the day. Oh, no, uh, where's Princess Emily? You can meet her again in the castle. I won't stop you folks, you can pass freely. We've been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. But first, I'm going to save the game. and uh, Probably going to uh, take a little break in recording to see if I can fix this audio problem. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, for you guys, it'll be instantaneous. So, I'll see you in a second. All right, everybody, and we're back. Audio sounds better on my end. Hopefully, it sounds better for you guys as well. I'm here to wrap this stuff up. I cheated. I went ahead and went to sleep. <laughs> Look at all these dresses. Okay. Well, well, I guess this doesn't lead where I want. It is the landscape of this area. That's right. The uh, throne room's upstairs. So I just woke up the next day. So, uh, yeah, let's just pretend it's seamless and nothing weird happened. Once again, half the party is nowhere to be seen. Heroes! Forget about formality. You are special guests of Tibroa. Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe and sound. My sister is acting as if nothing happened, but until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only Emily. Huh. I couldn't wait to see your sexy ass again. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it. You people brought justice upon evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon that infested Elisa Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tibroa and brought smiles back to our people. However, the Moon Dagger. Uh, this guy's accent changes every video. However, the Moon Dagger has to be passed on to Princess Emily. The Moon Dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. That is all the Moon Dagger can be. And also a tool for the destruction of the universe. Anyways, King Albert, we are satisfied with how the way things turned out. Instead of the Moon Dagger, we found something else to hand down. That is, the heroic story of you. I am actually really disappointed in my future now. You will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lives in the chamber of the sun, even though Kongo wasn't there when this started out. 
It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough for formality. We are having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. Maybe you'll get to eat something this time. A banquet? A party? Plainly speaking, yes. Yes, it is. Cool! It's a party. Party for us. Oh, Maru. Behave and be quiet. <laughs> she is cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please, feel free to relax. Let us prepare for the banquet. And by prepare, I mean I'm going to sit on my ass and let the servants do it. Good day. It seems we could relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It's a good chance to relax. Mela Sassau, the country where Dart was born. We'll be busy again. I'll be walking around until the party starts. Later, losers. Hey, where are you going? I have an errand to do. Are you going too, Rose? Let me go too. You have to appreciate what everyone did. Why don't we go out too? I love you, Dart. Dart looks completely bored. Since I was little, you never changed, even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because, while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shayna. So, I don't mind being your baby sister, because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. Like a psychopath. I, uh... I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shayna. I... Let's continue this after our journey is over, alright? Sorry about that. Dot, welcome back! What's wrong? You have such a sour face. You, uh, you think so? Mr. Cockblockula? Anyway, you're famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down on Tiboroa. Uh, if you say so, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are our time's latest hero. Ah, uh, by the way, the party is starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. I'll see you later. I'm still like, feeling a bit sick from uh, Christmas, but uh, we carry on, or the show must continue. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dark, Miss Shayna, why are you here? We're waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Please. Get everyone, or I cannot prepare the dresses. See you later. I'm going to look for everybody. Wait! Poor Dart. Poor Shayna. Poor everybody. Rawr. I got no idea what I need to be doing here now. Stardust. That guardsman was awfully happy to be doing his job. I am a hero. 
<laughs> He'd laugh at me. <laughs> I laugh now. I did laugh. Since I have started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Oh, you're here! I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. It'll be a fun party. Uh, I gotta hunt down all these mothers. Where to begin, lads? I guess we just go look around in every single room until we find people. Kongul has erection friends. Friends of different species. Not bad. Whoa! Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Congo speaking? Not really. I usually ignore it anyway. By the way, the party's starting. Loot. A moon serenade. And some moon lemonade. The party is starting. Please find all your friends as soon as possible. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. See what else we can find. Where? Just a peek is fine. I want to see the party food. We're not going to eat now. We just want to sample the. F oh, never mind. I know who this is. We're not going to eat now. We just want to sample the food. That is eating. Come on, please get. Please get out. You are delaying the preparation. Mister Dot, please stop them. Wars never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? Me too! Stop it! You're not a kid anymore! Oh... You too, Hashel! The party is starting soon! Behave yourself! Is that true? Why didn't you say so? Uh, yes! I I'm here to tell you that! Come on, let's go! Ah... <sighs> so, let's see, where would everyone else be? Oh, I know where fucking Albert's gonna be. Let's see. What was the princess he liked? No, he was, she was up here. So, I'm pretty sure Albert's hanging over up there. You know, living his genitalia on in anticipation. Is that too specific? I'm sorry. Well, not really. Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? She bitch slapped Dot and he died. No, please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out of the waves, over the waves and thinking his life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same thing while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my! And what happened to the two of them? They died. Would you like to know? This is a secret story handed down only with the Serdio royal family, so... I cannot tell you anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just cannot go on. Oh, you're, you are teasing me. But I'm having a fabulous time. I didn't notice the passing of time while talking with you.
I knew it! You're here! Is something wrong? The party is starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time. No question mark. Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. You could simply say, tonight. Fuck you, Dart. At the party. That's everybody. By the way, she was saying something about dresses. But where should we go? We have to ask Liberia about it. And uh, we know where that is. We know where that is. It's near where Congo was doing his solid practicing. Well, not his solid, his axe practicing. Quite poorly, I might add. So we run back down this incredibly long spiral stairway. And soon we'll be back in the main part of the castle. Isn't that nice? It seems everyone is here. Miss Shayna, Miss Rose, and Miss Maru, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You're talking about us? No, the other Shayna, Rose, and Maru. Yes, I am. Princess Emily and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you. No, thanks. It's not like you. Because I'm a dancer. I can't dance well in those dresses. No, thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please wait in the living room. I will come and take you there later. Shane is gonna have pretty dress. My food's getting cold, damn it. Everything is ready. Please proceed to the chamber of the sun. This is a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tibroa. Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. Hey, what you eating over there, man? You got like a ham and some fruit? What did you have to do to Shayna? Do? I didn't do anything. No Shayna here. No? Congo tall. Congo doesn't see from here. Where is she? Who put these cardboard dancers here? Mr. Dart! Wait for us. You must be Mr. Dart. I'm dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please let me hear your story too. I'd like to know more about you. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. Why don't you go enjoy yourself with Shayna? At least tonight, you have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Yep, it's fun. Are you gonna dance too? I'll try. Right on. Where is Shayna? I don't know. Go look for her. She'll be waiting for you. Come on, go!
I'll have to go to Melissa's cell with Dot. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Emily! Well said! The future of Serio and Tabroa is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that it never changes over time, because I'm a romantic and also stupid. The distance makes love grow deeper. I cannot watch this anymore. Man, me neither, man. What's wrong? Why do you have a long face? If you're looking for Shayna, she's not here. Mr. Dart! Miss Rose needs you. This way. Rose? Dart, why are you procrastinating like that? You want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that? She's over there. Whoa! You look beautiful. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. That's not true. Look! A falling star! I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wish the same thing. And no cock blocking for Dart this time around. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and that takes us to the end of chapter 2. Their cheesy, silly little love story, but I don't mind it too much. I don't know. It's cheesy in all the right ways. Which is what I think about this game in general. And we are on chapter 3, Fate and Soul, but... Yeah, we're not going to go past this uh, loading screen right now. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in Chapter 3 when it's done. Chapter 2 here uh, felt kind of short compared to uh, Chapter 1, and it really only took like 6 or 7 hours as opposed to the... Well, I guess the other one took 6 or 7 hours as well, but it just felt shorter. You get a little bit more on, on the ball, I suppose, with Chapter 2. Now, I remember Chapter 3 feeling kind of long. And my memories of chapter 3 are more vague than 1 and 2, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves, guys.